Yeah, well, Prof here, and we got some more Pokemon polls today. Before that, though, let's take a look at what came in. Um, sadly, no Poke Hall, but it is Pokemon related. Here we go. In this uh, Amazon box. Let's bring her on over to the unboxing table, or PC workbench table. Yeah. The two two decent cards I got from a hospital table. All right, so what we have in here is uh, they're actually all binders because I got this one. I didn't really choose to get it. Well, I did, but basically, in order to get the Mewtwo EX, um, you it comes in a bundle with Mewtwo EX, this, and a Mewtwo plushie. That's what I mean, I didn't really have a choice in it, because I wanted a new 2BX box, but uh, you didn't particularly want these two things. However, I'm glad I got this. Reason being is I didn't know this kind of binder existed, and I ended up needing a place to put my cards. So I actually ended up using it even before I made the new 2BX video. What this is, binder-wise, is they're actually cloth pages. Let's get you up higher. My bad. So these are specifically like the nine pocket pro binder from Ultra Pro. I had to do a bit of research to figure out which one it is. Because they also make these with plastic ones. Same exact card count. Some of them uh, they call a folio or something like that that has less. Also doesn't have the cloth. I really like the cloth because it's double sided. And yes, you're thinking, well, if you use those, you know those binder inserts, you can put them on both sides. Yes, but you have to like double stack them. Meaning like you have to put one on one side, flip the other, slide it in right behind it. Whereas this, each page is actually double sided. Um, and this is actually minus the couple open, there will be an open page I left there for expansion and stuff, um, is full. Um, and probably once I finish putting back all that right there, it will be full. So uh, what we got is I tracked down a couple more of these through uh, Amazon. Um, and I want different ones so that I know I can be like, oh, the Pokeball one, like this one, that's all my one, my promo rares or something. Yeah, and then... I plan on splitting up either two, I don't know how many of these I'll end up with, but especially with how many hollows are in each set, I don't know any of that. But uh, my plan is to um, like put two sets per binder or something. So like halfway through it'll switch to a different one. Or when I have less like right now, it may end up having to be three or four sets. You just do a quarter of it. Um, but I, I want room for expansion. And easy enough where I can... I'll know which one's which. So, the first one here... Is... Um, oh, i got to restart the... Uh, Michael's computer here. Working on finishing that up for him. You can sign these... Um, these are the Ultra Pro Pro, uh, Pro Binder, and uh, Nine Card is the other way to look them up. Also, look at the picture because this one you can see has a cloth. There are a couple. I don't know if they're earlier ones or you know what, but there are some in here that are. Oh, and it says eighteen pocket pages. Sometimes that's an important thing because that means it's got pockets front and back. Um. But yeah, I used, was searching nine pocket is how all these came up. Uh, but this is the Charizard one. 360 pages is the other thing, or 360 cards is the other thing to look for. That's why I'm thinking I can fit, like in this series, there's like 100 to 100 something to 200 cards usually. Um, I don't even know how many of those are hollows. I think some sets it's all of them. 
Um, other sets, it's only some of them. And I mean, I could have dupes and stuff. So half that's 180. We don't need 180 per. So maybe do a third or a quarter of these. There's also way more Pokemon sets than I knew. Number two, we got a Squirtle. Squirtle Squad, unite. Somebody should make me a... Uh, uh, can get you a better picture if you want it. Get some glasses so you can actually be Squirtle Squad Squirtle. You can make a vinyl decal or something. Um, but yeah, same, very, very similar binder. And I think my plan for this one is it's kind of like another generic Pokemon one. Uh, you can see once again there. Make sure that there's a cloth pages. In my opinion, I really like these. Didn't even know these existed. Um, I always assumed that, you know, I already just used a three, three ring binder. Um, I had some in the past that I used to like more, I remember. Uh, but then when I saw, they don't sell these pages as far as I'm aware. If they did, I would buy those and then a, you know, big three ring binder. But, uh, I really like these double sided cloth pages. They also fold way better. Like they fold on the card creases much rather than folding the whole page over. Like if you want to do that. Fle more flexible. I just, and I didn't never really like the sliding of cards front to back to see it on both sides. That just, you know, they were probably cheaper. You know, also while I was at the hobby shop, I saw some really big ones. Um, I'm going to have something coming up here uh, by from BCW. They're like a big trading card company, um, like for accessories and stuff. And they had a big binder, like a real tall, big, wide one. That was like many more cards than this. Um, I don't know what those have inside of them. Didn't even look. I just happened to see... Uh, those while I was at the hobby shop. Um, but for this one, this is probably where I'm going to put my hollows from decks. Um, at least that's my idea. Uh, or I can, I might be able to put them in the Pokeball one. Promos and then uh, second half hollows with decks. Either way, um, this will make it much easier to split up the hollows. And I'll be able to space them more when I put new ones in. Um, I don't have to always move 50 cards after it if it's an early number or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, cause I do like to keep them in numbered order. That's usually easiest from my experience. Originally I was keeping them in the order that I got them in, but that made it very hard to figure out where stuff went. So, and that's all we have in this today. Um, let me know which, you know, which binders or cards or how you store yours. Um, my common cards right now literally just go in those tins you saw. I have like one tin per set. Um, that might be changing though, because that's really hard to find what set you, or is it, you know, like what set that is without labeling them, then I don't want to label the tins. It's also a pain, like I gotta dig that tin out. Um, so I bought a better solution. We'll see if it comes. And because some people say they got the wrong one. So, and I don't want the wrong one. Now, next up here um, is my uh, McDonald's. Actually, finally restocked their Happy Meals. I think all of them might have. Because they, they always ship pretty similarly. And uh, Auxiliary, um, if you're OG to this channel, you'll know him from our uh, text live form. He was a co-host back then, and he now does a uh, podcast with uh, Barnacles, and does one uh, for Puget Systems where he works, because I believe he's the social media manager now. Um, and yeah, uh, what he had said that his significant other had managed to get some Happy Meals for him, so I went out and uh, for a snack, and I, I too was able to pick one up. So, and this is number three. I've had one and two, so I actually got a different one as well. So I don't know what's going to be inside of this. Um, let's get our binders out of the way and uh, get you onto the Gorilla Pod, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so I got Michael's computer doing a disk check after imaging it to that new SSD, and uh, now let's do some pulls here. Um, obviously from McDonald's. And number three, we have. Pack of cards, as always. And looks like it just comes with stickers. 
and then you know, like the standard coloring book box. Just add those to the pile of you know random Pokemon stickers and stuff I have here. Alright, let's what do you think we're gonna get? You get four cards. All starters, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got a Litten. I was a fan of Litten. Got a Litten. Got a super happy Bulbasaur. Got a Sobble. And a Torchic. I think that's some new ones. Um, let's take a look. I actually use one of these little bindery dudes. Let's see here. We got a Roll It. I didn't even know that was a starter. Cyndaquil. Chimchar. Tepig. Score Bunny Hollow. Squirtle Hollow. That's a, that's a good picture. Pikachu. And another Pikachu. So yeah, all these are new. Let me know what you guys think, especially about those binders. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up some more, uh, uh, you know, snacks and get some cards with them in the future. We'll see if um, McDonald's bleeds dry again right away. Um, I think they said that they were they were leaving up to the each location and franchise to set limits and stuff like that, but they recommended doing that. Um, I'm guessing because of the franchising, they can't, like, directly be like, no, you can only do blah, 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 you know, at least without prior, you know, stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll add those into the collection, and we'll see in the next one. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll have something good for you. Hit subscribe, like, comment down below, and, uh, as always, I'm at the Prophecist. And we'll see you.